Many times finding what you're looking for is not so easy. And in fact, this is why Elementor came out with a brand new feature in the free version of Elementor today called a finder. And we're gonna look at this today and I'm gonna share some of the reasons that I think this is really cool and why I think that this is something that I'm going to end up hating in the short run. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress tutorials videos for non techies if you're new here consider clicking on the subscribe button if you don't want to miss a thing click on that notification bell hey first off sorry if I sound a little nasal I've been sick for the past week and I'm doing my best to get back at it as soon as I possibly can and while I was sick Elementor released a beta of the finder and as a matter of fact today it is available for everyone that has updated today to Elementor version 2.3. So first let's take a look at what Elementor is. Now if you happen to use a Mac, I use a Mac, I don't record on a Mac, I record on a PC so I can't show you. But if you've used a Mac before, you're probably already familiar with this feature. So here it is, it's called Elementor Finder. You can trigger this little pop-up in the back end of WordPress in an Elementor when you're editing a page and you can also trigger it when you're on the front end of your website. Here's the Elementor blog post about it. Let me just show you this really quick. So here I am on an element, a site with Elementor on it. Now I can trigger the Elementor finder no matter where I am with a simple keystroke. If you're using a PC, you can hit Control E. Just remember E for Elementor, Control E, and it will pull this up right here. And then there's the finder. Now if you are on a piece, uh, on a Mac, all you have to do is hit Command E and it will pull this up. So here I am and I can start searching for things. So on a Mac, we've always had something called Spotlight, which is something I use multiple times every single day. In fact, they also have it on iPhones. That's the search feature that you can easily trigger to find apps, to find emails, to find documents, to find anything on your device. We've had it on a Mac for a very long time and Elementor just pretty much copied it. And I'm glad they copied the feature because it's a very helpful feature. So here I am in the back end, but if I wanted to go to the front end of the website, I don't think there's anything there. I just hit control E and then there it is. In fact, if I was to get inside of a page like this and click on edit with Elementor, I can do the same thing. I'll be able to hit control E and pull it up. So now once you have this pulled up, you can search for blog posts, you can search for pages, you can search for settings, and it will pull the results. You can click and it will take you right there. So here I am on a page and I can start typing finder because I have another page called finder page two and we're in page finder one. So I can click like that and it's going to just jump me right on into it. You see how fast it is to jump around in your website. So let me pull that up again and type settings and there it is. I just typed set and it pulls up these two pages here that are in Elementor. Now it will only pull up content that was created with Elementor where you're using Elementor on it. Okay, I can click here to go to the general settings in the back end style, advanced and integrations. So I can click right here and it's just gonna jump me right on in to the settings here for Elementor. Now if you're actively involved on your website, you can really appreciate the ability to jump very fast and have these reduced mouse clicks to get to where you want to go on your website, especially when it comes to when you're first building your website and there's a lot of getting out of this screen, going to this screen, clicking here, clicking there, and all of these different steps where Elementor Finder now makes it so easy easy. There is a lot to love in Elementor Finder. It is just fantastic if you ask me, but I don't like one aspect about it. One thing that I've noticed with Elementor is they tend to go very wide with their features. They have lots of features they go very wide versus having few features and going very deep in developing them. 
And that's why I don't like this finder concept coming from Elementor because I don't think they're going to go deep enough. I think the finder is a great concept that they just someone had some kind of idea bell go off in their head and they decided to bring into WordPress. But this is something that I would love to see just in WordPress as a WordPress feature. Imagine those times when you're trying to find a setting in WordPress, if you could just pull up the WordPress finder and type create new user or new user or something along those lines and just go straight to creating a new user. Well, you don't get that with the Elementor finder because they don't tend to go deep with what you can use one of their features for. Or imagine if WordPress had this finder and you're searching for a particular phrase that might appear in certain blog posts and you could pull it up, you could do that and you can see the blog posts that contain that phrase. We're not gonna get that with Elementor Finder. And perhaps even a bigger option, perhaps say you uh, use the WordPress Finder and you search in there, you enter in change logo and it knew the theme that you were using because theme providers could hook their settings into it and it would show an option for that. You could click on it, it jumps you into the customizer exactly to the setting where you can change the logo. Imagine how a WordPress Finder could really be quite the usability game changer for anyone using WordPress. I don't care how experienced you are with the tools that you use. There's always going to be times when you're stumbling around looking for a particular setting because you can't remember all the different settings and where they happen to be. So I hope you're trying to see here that I love this concept of having a finder inside of WordPress, what Elementor Genius has done. However, I'm disappointed because it's not going to go deep in what it could do. I think it would be awesome if WordPress built this feature, even built it into a core. I know, I know a lot of people don't want more and more features put into WordPress, but this would be such a usability game changer for people. If anyone that makes a plugin or a theme could hook in there and have their settings be loaded into a WordPress finder where they could just enter it in a user and get right to where they want to go. How much easier would it be for people to use anything on WordPress if WordPress just had a WordPress finder like this? I think if you're a developer, a software for developer and you're watching this video, if you want a hit, I think that would be a huge hit and let theme developers, plugin developers hook on into the WordPress finder and be able to make it super easy for their users to use their products. Anyways, this isn't really meant to be a rant video, even though I'm ranting on a little bit. Uh, my basic point is that this is a great feature. Elementor users are going to love it, but I think it's sad because this is a feature that should be in WordPress to make it easy for anyone to use WordPress, even us people that are experienced WordPress users. Hey, that's it for this video. I do have a link down below to Elementor. It will take you to my website. I have a training course, all that kind of stuff I want to give you. If you're interested, you could just click on the link below or visit wpcrafter.com slash Elementor. Hey, what do you think about this concept of having a WordPress finder feature in WordPress. I'd like to hear from you in the comment section down below. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, click on the notification bell for, for notification when more videos like this are uploaded. Hey, that's it. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one.